So on a, on a bit of a brighter note, although that maybe that's even the brightest note is finding uh, the good things in a tough situation, but there was a really interesting uh, story that I'd love to get to. And uh, we were talking about it, Natalia and I, um, well, actually, we emailed about it a bit, but Elon Musk proposes city-to-city -city travel by rocket right here on Earth. Anywhere on Earth in under an hour, Musk says. So I thought this was quite interesting. First of all, um, and it says SpaceX CEO Elon Musk unveiled revised plans to travel to the moon and Mars at a space industry conference today. But then he went on to uh, talk about uh, Musk showed a demonstration of the idea on stage. Oh, he said that he would use the same interplanet interplanetary rocket system for long distance travel on Earth. So uh, Musk showed a demonstration of the idea on stage, claiming that it will allow passengers to take most long distance trips in just 30 minutes and go anywhere on Earth in under an hour for around the same price as an economy airline ticket, which I think sounds good. Um, yeah, <laughs> it sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about this? It said New York to London, what, 29 minutes or something? It's I'm pretty like, good. It sounds amazing. Who wants to sit through a 10-hour flight when that it's happens available, right? Or, yeah. How, how do you think that the prices will be so cheap? What do you think about that? I don't know how they're going to make it happen, but I just hope that they do. <laughs> right. Well, um, and, um, and we've talked about... Um, you know, we've talked about Elon Musk on the show uh, before, and I like him. I think he's, of course, there's good in everybody's heart. I just know that he knows more. Yeah. I, I know that he knows more. What I mean by that is that his company is called Tesla. We just did another video where a lot of people agreed on the uh, another video with Elon Musk uh, coming out at the World Government Summit. And... Um, basically, the World Government Summit, uh, he said that... Let's see, uh, there was something he said at the World Government Summit. He was like, oh my gosh, my mind is going blank. At the World Government Summit, he said there's probably super intelligent beings, and if there are super intelligent beings, they probably are observing us, and we're just not smart enough to realize it. So it was kind of him publicly disclosing that, yeah, there, there probably are these beings, and if there are, they, they probably are uh, observing us. And the reason why it was groundbreaking is because Elon Musk is kind of like a quote-unquote mainstream guy. You know, a lot of people in Silicon Valley look up to him. He's the Tesla CEO, and, you know, he's working with the government. So for him to come out at the World Government Summit in the Middle East and say, yeah, if there were super intelligent beings, which there probably are, he said in the past, then yeah, they probably are already observing us and we probably just aren't smart enough to realize it. And I guess my point with Elon Musk's company being called Tesla, I like these things. Of course, I would take one of these rockets, I guess, if it's safe. I mean, airplanes can crash too, right? And I take those. But I just, you know, his company's called Tesla. Tesla was working on free energy. And it's just interesting. I just wonder what else Elon Musk knows about free energy and some things that, you know, he has to play ball with the government. So what else does he know about free energy and things that could actually, what we're working on in Venezuela, we're going to get into that later, um, but, and I don't know if we're going to solve the issue. I encourage people to work on free energy at home, but this could actually end money as a control system, completely free energy. With 3D printers, more advanced printers and free energy, you can print whatever you need for free. And, uh, and there's a lot of other reasons why money as a control structure would be gone. It would completely transform the world. And that's why Elon Musk is probably not talking about it, to be honest. So it's just interesting how much he really knows, because I have to think he knows a lot more. Meaning, we don't have to be traveling with rockets, you know, but he, <laughs> it's kind of the best he can do because billions of dollars, I think, are coming from what I understand in government, I think, subsidies to Tesla, and that's Elon Musk's company. So he kind of has to play ball. What do you think, Natalia? I think that he definitely knows more than what he's telling us. And, I mean, 
So he's already talking about, you know, taking humans to Mars. Right. You wouldn't be talking about something like that unless you really knew that that was possible. He, I was actually on the SpaceX, which is his company, okay, on the website sure. today. And just even watching the videos of the different rockets they're launching and listening to his goals for these different rockets. What, what did you find on that site? Um, so I was reading about the, the Falcon 9. Um, which was, I believe, one of the first rockets of its kind, and they were actually saying that the SpaceX company actually seems to be more advanced almost than NASA. Sure. So to me, I'm sure. saying, in my, if you are um, more advanced than NASA, I, I can't imagine the kind of knowledge you might possess yeah. in terms of other things and what might be ke being kept from us. Because if you're playing ball with the government, I'm not really sure... What, what you can want, disclose, right? Yeah, what, what they want us to know, what they don't want us to know. But yeah, and most people watching this, or a lot of people, also just believe that NASA is a fake space agency. That it's a <laughs> it's a cover organization, and that the trillions of dollars that have been basically hijacked from us, that we were talking about before the show, have gone to a secret space program, and that's what Admiral Byrd was talking about when he went to Antarctica, took the whole U.S. Navy after World War II, and said he found flying disks in Antarctica and did a press conference in Chile and was the head of the entire U.S. Navy. And a lot of people said that uh, certain elements of Nazis went to Antarctica and then with Operation Paperclip, they came in. Uh, there were tens of thousands that came into the U.S. scientists. The head of NASA ended up being a former Nazi scientist, which, again, they all everybody can be forgiven, but it is what it is. There could be a lot that's gone on with the trillions of dollars that Donald Rumsfeld said we lost. And then I, there was just another mainstream news article I saw uh, from 2016 that the Pentagon has, it was $2 trillion that Rumsfeld on 9-10-2011 said we lost publicly on 60 Minutes or whatever, but now it's up to $6.5 trillion, which I think essentially could like buy everybody in the U.S. a car, every woman, man, and child in the U.S., and you know, essentially could basically end poverty uh, in many respects, and it could actually build nations could literally build nations the amount of money the Pentagon publicly says that it's lost. And our nuclear arsenal, I read an article by David Wilcock, I was telling you, Natalia, our nuclear arsenal, um, I guess if you normalize it for what money is worth today, has cost another, I don't know what he said, five, six trillion dollars as well since the, uh, so it's just amazing how much money there is. And then where did this money go? Because we spend it we, the Pentagon spends about a trillion dollars a year, which is crazy amount of money. Our screen just went black, so now it's back. All right. The Pentagon, <laughs> sp the Pentagon spends a tremendous amount of money um, every year, and then we've lost trillions, which could literally build nations. Like if you look at what other nations actually spend, we're going to get into a story uh, about the world's poorest president. And, I mean, nations, you know, it's crazy what we're spending and then what we've lost in terms of the trillions of dollars. A lot of people say, Dr. Stephen Greer, many other people, that there's a secret space program. So I would be very interested to hear what you guys think. So comment on the video on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash believe loves you and uh, email us believe at believe.com. Let us know if you think there's a secret space program. Do you agree? Do you agree with Corey Good and David Wilcock? You know, David Wilcock is kind of a researcher. Corey Good has his, a lot of interesting information on Gaia, that network we talked about. And then there's Dr. Stephen Greer, who doesn't quite agree with Corey Good. Or maybe you think NASA is the is, is as good as it gets and SpaceX. But I think Elon Musk is doing the best he can, but I wonder what he really knows. So I'd like to hear what people have to say because, I mean, you and I have our theories on what might be going on, but I'd like to hear... I would love that. Right? I, I'm sure there there are some good theories out there, and I'd like, I'd like, I can't wait to hear that. I agree. One of our videos <laughs> got like 600 comments. The other Elon Musk one was pretty active. I think we got a couple thousand views. So if you see this, definitely leave your comment because you're a part of our family. So we thank you so much.